Hey Ben, how are you doing? I'm doing well, Herbert. How are you doing? I'm doing great. I actually had a little run myself. That makes me actually more inspired to speak to you. That's good. Yeah, I've got a run done this morning and a swim, so I hope you're jumping in the pool later. Uh, we'll see about that. <laughs> but hey, probably my run wasn't as long as yours. What kind of workouts did you do today? I actually had a 14.1-mile uh, tempo run up on Magnolia Road with uh, Lee Troop. So he's, a, he's sort of an Australian um, Olympic-caliber uh, marathoner. Um, he's doing Boston, actually, in, I think, four or five weeks from now, whenever that is. And he's in a big build phase, so I just jumped in with one of his runs. And he was cruising along like it was nothing, and I was suffering. So, so yeah, I would say he probably kept you honest. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, he's... The thing I have to do, I have to make sure that I'm talking to him the whole time so that, or at least that I get him to talk so that, you know, he might slow down a little bit. You have him basically tell you stories. Yeah, exactly. I have him tell me about all the days when he was running 29 minute 10 Ks. So that sounds great. How, what kind of swim workout did you have after that? Um, you know, I just did a little bit of band work today. Kind of, this is my day off of a group swim. So I did one of my own sets and it was just a shorter, uh, three K set that had a lot of band stuff in it, trying to focus on keeping the body, uh, really nice and taut. Um, Definitely working on the core stuff right now. Excellent, excellent. What kind of me what kind of meals did you have today? Um, well, naturally, I kicked off the, the morning with some uh, bacon and eggs. I've got a new sponsor, Tender Belly, and uh, they're providing me with all the all the pork products I need. So that's kind of a daily staple right now. Um, and I've I've actually sort of gone towards the uh, a little bit of the paleo diet. Not exactly. I mean, you know, it's hard as an endurance athlete to, to get away from the sugar entirely, but trying to do that. So it actually works out well to have them on board now. Um, how did that come about? Uh, I met Shannon and Eric Duffy uh, down at, uh, in Denver actually one night. They're, they were friends and sharing some warehouse space with uh, the winery that sponsors me, the Infinite Monkey Theorem Winery. So I met them one night and we were doing some barrel tasting on some of the wines and uh, you know they, they told me their story and uh, I was pretty interested so I followed up with them and We've developed a relationship. They're interested in my sport. They have a couple other athletes that they sponsor. One's actually an MMA fighter, um, so not exactly my cup of tea. But they uh, they're, they're interested in, in triathlon, and I think they um, you know they were interested in supporting me as an athlete. So no, I think I personally think that's very smart. I think you have a couple of interesting sponsors. Among them is Volkswagen. Um, how did that one come about? Volkswagen actually came about through my relationship with Specialized. Um, you know, they they were looking for a an up and coming North American Ironman distance athlete to do some uh, video work and uh, become an ambassador for their brand in the sport of triathlon. So, you know, I it was a natural fit. They're sort of a company that's all about the the highly engineered, you know, um, really high quality products yet still attainable and affordable for you know the more average person, I guess. And um, you know, I, I feel like that's kind of the story with triathlon, too. We're all sort of always looking for that highly engineered, you know, well-developed gear. And, um, and yeah, I mean, they had been in the space before with Volts, Volkswagen Trek back in the day. And I think they took a little bit of a hiatus and realized that that was something they were interested in getting back to. So um, that's been a great relationship. I mean, they're a fun company to work with. They're obviously really clever and uh, with their advertising and, and just sort of a smart company that, that's always looking forward. So, What kind of car are you driving then? I actually have a, uh, a new one that was delivered about a week ago. It's a Volkswagen um, Touareg, and it's the TDI version. Um, I was driving a gas engine before that, and now I have the TDI, which is, which is really great. I mean, the fuel economy on that thing is exceptional. So, yeah, Excellent. So that means basically between the winery, the pork products, and Volkswagen, you have three non-industry sponsors. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm always curious to explore the non-endemic side. I mean... I have great relationships with everybody in the industry that, that sponsor me that are in, the, in um, the triathlon realm. You know, Zoot obviously is a huge sponsor of mine and um, <clears throat> very happy with Zip and Strand as well. And, you know, I just, uh, you know, specialized bicycles, like I mentioned before. But, you know, I, I think it's kind of fun to push the envelope and see what else is out there. There's obviously a lot of, uh, a lot of interested companies. I mean, there's space. The, the triathlon space is growing pretty rapidly. And, um, you know, there's a lot of people that are interested in being involved in it, and you just kind of have to go out there and explore a little bit. Plus, like I said, I I knew from the beginning, especially with Tender Belly, I met these guys, and they were just kind of on the same plane as me. Really interesting guys that were, you know, entrepreneurial, and you know, they're they're doing something pretty special. They're they've got really high end um, quality pork products that, yeah, I mean, they're just they're just fun, and they're working with all the the high end restaurants in Denver, and you know, they're they're just good guys that that are um, 
interested, like I said, in supporting me, and I'm interested in supporting them. So that sounds all excellent and very smart. I have to say. <laughs> in terms of racing, what's going on for you? What's next? Well, I actually have Oceanside on the calendar, which is coming up in about 15 or 16 days. Now it's on the 30th, and um, you know I'm. I'm in sort of a still of a build phase right now. I won't really do a ton of resting for that race. Um, I still have an eye on doing St. George. You know, in years past, I've kicked off my season for the past three years. Actually, I did Ironman St. George to start the year in May. This year, I'll still be going to St. George, but obviously, it's a half Ironman. So my training's been a little bit different. Um, I also didn't spend quite as much time in Tucson as years past. But you know, I think everything's on target. I feel really good. I've really been pushing the run, which is where I feel like I have the most. Uh, you know as sort of the area where I have the most potential for improvement and um, I'm feeling pretty confident in that right now so I'm excited to get out there and see how Oceanside goes. I'm looking at New Orleans as well but then for sure St. George and then Ironman Coeur d'Alene will be the sort of mid-season goal that will hopefully get me qualified for a run at Kona again. Now that sounds all exciting. Uh, we look forward to see you in Oceanside. We'll probably have someone out there to check you out and see, see how things are going. Uh, we have to ask, before we go, we have to ask you, when you go out socially or on a date or otherwise, do you wear that fire suit? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, actually, I have a girlfriend, so I don't do a lot of uh, dates anymore um, unless it's with her. Right. But, yeah. I, uh, you know, she's she's on board with it. She she likes the, uh, the attention that it draws, and, you know, most people think I'm a NASCAR driver, so... We get uh, we get a lot of questions, but yeah, she's uh, she's on board with me going out, and um, you know, people in the community have started to to rally behind it. You know, they uh, they know to look for the Hoff when I come out in the suit. That sounds perfect. <laughs> on that note, we let you run, and we'll catch you later. Thanks for having me, Herbert. It was fun.